Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and today I'm going to give you a review of the Offensive Security Certified Professional, or the Pen Testing with Cali course by Offensive Security. This episode, as always, is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. And by Cyberary, the leaders in information security and hacking training. Visit cyberary.it for your free training. I just recently completed my offensive security uh, certified professional exam and course, the pen testing with Cali. And while it's sort of fresh in my mind, I wanted to give you my review of the course. Uh, lots of people have questions about what their background is, what background you need in this, what, you know, what, what's on the course, am I ready, do I have the needed skills? And I just wanted to share with you my experiences. Uh, first, just a quick background on my, my background. Uh, I come from a blue team background, long time system admin, network admin, and that's really where my strengths are. I uh, haven't really had a whole lot of experience on the offensive side. It's more, always been more on the defensive side. Uh, that being said, you know, I think those skills prepare me very well for this. Uh, I also had some decent scripting skills. I'm not a software developer, but I'm comfortable, you know, writing a Python script, Bash shell script, PowerShell script, as, it, as the case may be. So the course on its whole, you're going to need strong Linux foundation. You're going to spend a lot of time on the Linux command line. And you need to be comfortable there. Um, being comfortable on, a, on the Windows side is also good. But if you have those strong Linux command shell skills, you're going to be able to find your way around the Windows command line. Um, as far as like networking skills, some basic understanding of how you know TCP, UDP, uh, IP protocols work will go a long way. Um, some background on DNS, but you can pick some of that stuff up also along the way. Uh, as far as programming skills, you're going to want to be comfortable with scripting. You don't need to be a software developer, you know, know your way around agile development or anything crazy like that, but be comfortable writing like a Python script, a Bash shell script is going to serve you a long way in this course. So the course material, you're presented with some videos in a course handbook, and it's going to work you through several, uh, more than several, quite a few exercises. And these are going to give you a good base fundamentals, point you in the right direction of what you need. And that's going to set you up so that you can do your own research and develop your own knowledge. And that's really what this course is focused on, point you in the right direction, set you on the path, and the rest is up to you. They're pointing you, steering you, where you need to go, and then they're relying on you to have the having the discipline and um, skill to be able to take that inf that base knowledge and develop it into what you need to exploit a box to you know enumerate a system. The real value here is with this course is one you know the base information it's good. There's lots of way, places you could pick that stuff up. There's some good books out there. It's well laid out. The videos are excellent. Uh, the, you know, it's good material. The lab, it's second to none. You're not going to find a hacking lab like this anywhere else. Trying to set a lab like this up on your own without the knowledge, you're not going to be able to do it. The way they've linked exploits together to compromise a box, to make you think, to simulate real world situations is not something you're going to be able to do without the knowledge um, when you're trying to learn you know, to pen test. So the lab is amazing and that's where I feel the real value in this course is. So the lab consists of four networks. A uh, public network which has probably about 30 systems in it, and then a IT development and admin network. And the admin network is the crown jewel. That's where you're trying to get to. And it's going to put your exploit and pivoting and enumeration skills to the test to get all the way to that last network. Uh, there's lots of 
really challenging boxes in there. And I'm sure if you've been out there and you've done some research on this course, you're going to have heard of some of them, pain, sufferance, humble, and they live up to their names. They're going to put you through your paces. And a lot of students, even you know, when you've passed the course, have never actually exploited these boxes. So don't worry if you're taking this course and you don't explore every single box. I myself only probably exploited about 40 of the 50 some boxes in the entire lab before I took the challenge. Now, the challenge consists of five boxes and they're scored with varying amount of points and you need a total of 70 points to pass, pass this. So you're gonna have a decent idea of where you stand when you submit your challenge report. Now you can submit, you also are, you should submit your lab report and a summary of the exercises that you've done for the lab exercises. This will help you if you're close to that passing score but not quite there with what you've exploited in the lab. It can help push you over the top. Um, how much it's actually worth, no one knows. They don't come forward and say. Um, I myself have taken the course, take, took the sort of the challenge exam twice. The first time I made a stupid mistake. Uh, the use of meta metasploit is limited on the challenge exam. They specifically tell you which boxes you can and cannot use it on. I don't know what happened. Something snapped inside of my head. I was working on a box. I got frustrated. I said, screw it. I know I can use Metasploit, this Metasploit module on this box to exploit this box, and I did that, and it was prohibited on that box, and I lost all of my points. So I didn't pass the first time. Second time, went back in, about 13 hours in, I had all my points I needed to pass, I was golden, no issues, paid better attention to what boxes I was using Metasploit on and what boxes I didn't use Metasploit on. Um, key that I've found to penetration testing in this course and you know my experience in the real world is enumeration. You cannot enumerate enough. Also, always try the front door. It might be unlocked. That's it for this review. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again next time.